Oxygen OS 12 is OnePlus's vision for Android 12, well, at least for the moment. Until the OnePlus 10 arrives early next year running the new combined OnePlus Oppo OS, this is what OnePlus phones will get when they upgrade to Android 12. The new Oxygen OS is built on the same platform as Oppo's Color OS, so you'll definitely notice some crossover with Oppo's software in terms of how certain things look. Nevertheless, this is still Oxygen OS, complete with trademark features like Zen Mode, the widget shelf, and the OnePlus font. However, what we're seeing in this first open beta of Oxygen OS 12 is a very early build that's rough around the edges with plenty of bugs, so if you are thinking about installing this on your main device, i definitely hold off for now. With that said, what's new here? Well, you'll see visual changes from the very start, with a new ColorOS influence launcher and a slight redesign for the many OnePlus clock widgets. The default shape for icons is now a rounded square, not a circle, though you can easily change that back if you like. And while you won't find Google's Material U design language or dynamic color schemes in this build, there is a nifty new inventive wallpaper option that can pull key colors from any image and arrange them into an abstract or geometric wallpaper for you. Over on the always-on display, the Canvas AOD option has been updated too, with more line styles now available as well as different shading options to help your photos come to life on the always-on display. Meanwhile, OnePlus's dark mode is becoming more customizable, with three darkness levels ranging from a gentle medium grey through to pitch AMOLED black. And it looks like some of Android 12's game dashboard features will be coming to OnePlus's game toolbox in this new version, including floating window support, frame rate checking, and the ability to modulate your voice in in-game chat if the game supports it. We can't show off that last feature just yet, but I imagine it sounding something a little bit like this. OnePlus is set to introduce a slightly new design language in Oxygen OS 12 as well, though we're not seeing all of it just yet in this early build. The company says its new aesthetic is all about light and space, with clearer visual hierarchies within its apps and soft shadows throughout. You can see this already in some of the app icons, these definitely have more of a shaded, layered look to them, but otherwise a lot of the OnePlus apps here are still unchanged from Oxygen OS 11. The one exception is the Notes app, where you can really get a good idea of what OnePlus is aiming for with this new design language, while also enjoying new features like rich text editing, text doodling, and easier categorization for your notes. OnePlus also says its icons have been deconstructed to make them more straightforward and easier to identify, and what that translates into is more wireframe-style iconography for the everyday things that you'll see on your phone. The OnePlus widget shelf, activated by swiping down from the right side of the status bar, has been given a fresh coat of paint too. Still kind of work in progress here, but in final Oxygen OS 12, it'll also feature the ability to group widgets together and resize them to fit your own preferences, while also letting you introduce custom background images. The OnePlus Scout feature from Indian versions of Oxygen OS is also going global in this new version. It's not fully live yet, but when it's included, it'll let you search through apps and their contents easily and in one place. It's kind of similar to the same global search feature we've seen on Pixels running Android 12. Work-life balance is also new for global users on Oxygen OS 12. This is a way to silo off any work distractions when you're away from the office and stay focused and productive while you're on the job. You can mark apps as life or work and automatically change between work mode or life mode based on your time. The idea is your phone will shield you from distractions that can wait whatever you happen to be doing. Again, not fully live in this build, so we'll have to wait before we can properly try it out. And finally, OnePlus is getting more serious about personal security in this latest version, with a new privacy safe feature for storing sensitive files, documents, and whatever else might be on your phone that you don't want popping up in a photo reel. It's found in the privacy menu and you can set a password to access it or use a fingerprint to unlock. There's no word yet on when the final version of Oxygen OS 12 is going to be dropping, but it will be coming soon to OnePlus 9, 8, and 7 series phones, as well as the OnePlus Nord, Nord 2, and Nord CE. Let us know what you think down in the comments and subscribe so you don't miss more Android 12 coverage coming soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.